Hey everybody, I just wanted to take this video today to uh, satisfy my curiosity, I guess. I, uh, I've been working on some small engines and got thinking here. I'm curious about my new Norco 5 and how it works in its restore mode. This is a uh, 120 amp hour uh, marine battery out of my trailer, which sits in there, gets abused, gets frozen when it's dead, whatnot. It's about eight years old now. Well, 2017, it's not quite that old. Five years old, sorry. I've had a couple different ones. But uh, anyways, I'm curious how my new Norco 5 works. Sorry, this is upside down. Um, in restore mode, you can see it's blinking on the 12 volt uh, repair mo mode there. And uh, I did do this once on it, and I just started it again about five minutes ago and thought, hmm, I'm really curious how this works. So, 12 volt battery, put one of my cheap multimeters on it. So you can see, when I started it, uh, I noticed after I hooked it up, it was maybe a minute in, it was around 14.6 volts. So obviously it's putting in significantly more voltage than it normally would on a standard 12 volt charge, which would be this one. Uh, Cause I believe those stop at 12, well, no, they don't. I guess resting voltage would be 12 eight. Anyways, so you can see here that it's definitely pushing the voltage and you can see that it's pumping it as it goes up and down, up and down. So, why don't we see what it actually is doing? I'll take my trusty Kiwitz. We'll do a DC amperage test with the clamp meter and see what she's doing. All right. Oops. Dummy, that's the wrong way. <laughs> this is the one. Oh, interesting. So, as you can see, now that I'm on the actual charger wire, not the tester, we are getting 0.85. So it looks like just under one amp of pulsing on the current side. Interesting. And it looks like if you count, it looks to be every second. So on for one amp, off for one amp, on for one amp, off for an amp, every second. Very cool. So that's the restore mode on these, which makes sense. You want a little bit higher voltage you want to pulse the amperage is ideally for desulfating a battery. Uh, some guys will use other methods like uh, you can use a welder, a DC output welder, mind you, obviously. And yeah, you could uh, throw, throw it on there and usually put it on for between 5 and 15 minutes. Crank up the amperage to somewhere between... 80 amps to 150 amps usually some guys will do 200 but and you boil it and that'll knock all those sulfates off of the plates um this is a vented or i mean a maintenance uh capable battery you can pop the covers off and fill up the electrolyte i should probably do that just top up the water but uh anyways i just wanted to show you guys what this new norco tester is doing so yeah that light must be pretty close to what it's actually doing. When the red light is on, it's pushing current. When it's off, it's not. So yeah, it looks like about an amp of current. It looks like it's slowly going down because I did quick try this before this video and it was right at one amp. So looks like it's slowly tapering off as it gets full. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned something.